Hey there, welcome back guys. Have I got a treat for you? Hold on. You notice anything? Room tone. The printer is off. The 3D printer is off. No, it's not over. We will still do 3D printing. Um, but this is going to be one of a 10 part series of the Wayne Lux, right? Laser engraving machine. So what better than to be able to laser engrave anything and everything. The folks at Wayne Luck sent this to me. Um, so it was great. I'm looking forward to seeing what's inside. Our first video is going to be an unboxing. So we're gonna check it out and see what's in store for us. Uh, second video, we'll be setting it up and configuring it to your computer. Uh, third part will be, um, let's see how it prints. Let's see, well not even print, it's called laser engraving. So let's see how it engraves. And then moving forward, there'll be other videos that follow it, similar to the Ender series, where you know we'll get you up and running so that you too can send your things to the engraved, um, which is really cool. Um, so why not, with it, any further ado, let's get started. Let's see what's inside. Let's go out there to the table, the same table where that was born, and the same table will this will be unleashed and born, and somewhere we will find a new home for this little thing to go, so that we'll be able to print from our computer, or most likely the first experience will be wirelessly. All right, come on, let's go. Let's get started. All right, so here it is. The Wayne Lux laser engraving machine. Nice, it's a brand, it's a one piece inside. It's actually small. Uh, it came from, where did it come from? Hong Kong. Wow, they shipped it all the way from Hong Kong. Really nice. Packaging looks good, but like always, before we do any unboxing, we gotta do the 360 walk around if that makes any sense just to make sure there are no dents and bings or bada booms so that we know um you know for insurance purposes that if it was dinged before we opened it you know it's possible that it could be damaged inside and we can always send it back um and exchange it easily rather than opening it and then saying hey it was broken uh we've got like a looks like it's crushed right there which should be okay. I don't think that's gonna have a big impact because like we saw on the printer, it was securely packaged, but this looks like it was crushed, um, which should be okay. Um, and if we come all the way around, see what we have here, some international stickers we have there. Probably went through customs, which was great. DHL, I think DHL is used more for international shipping rather than domestic. Um, at least from my experience. And uh, yeah, there we are. Now we're ready to do the unboxing. The moment of truth we've all been waiting for. I'm just gonna unbox it. It's our box cutter that we've seen in many of the videos that have brought us many goodies on this channel. See that? It's well taped, that's for sure. Ah, nice. So similar to a uh, really nice packaging experience because everything is secure inside. Even if your box comes with dings, it's a box inside of a box. Kind of like the, uh, the Russian doll. If you've ever seen a Russian doll. Um, I'll just tip this over like that box inside of a box let's see what's inside wow nice it's like they use the same packaging manufacturer we've got in here which is really cool uh, we've got the manual which is really nice also available in PDF format um, good packaging oh nice look some sample um, wood you could probably find at Home Depot, right? If you want to, um, you know, continue with your project, but they gave us this to start with, which is great, which is probably what we'll use for our starter um, engravings. I don't really need this super close up zoom. Wow, this is a really, I think this is probably great for kids um, because it has, I notice the, um, we'll just pull it out of the bag. Look 
because one, it's small, right? And we'll just clear all this out of the way. If, it, if, it, if it's going to work, we just don't know if it will work. And then, you know, down the line, mal malfunction. All right. If that makes any sense, be really careful pulling it out. All right. Well, let's continue. Look at that. This is really nice. I mean, this can go in your study room, in your kids' room. And the reason why I say safe for kids, because look, it has the, um, hmm, you know, the, the like, special protection from, from, from the lasers. Whoops. So now we're just going to unpackage the package. Uh, I believe, ah, look at that. This thing just opens up like that. Wow, really nice. It's really, um, looks like it's, like I said, it looks like it's really easy to use. This could be your first uh, starter uh, printer. I don't want to, remember, don't force it. If you got to force it, it means that it does not want to come out. It looks like it, this stuff is in here, like a little cheeseburger menu. Uh, look at that. So, oh, nice, because the plate is empty underneath. So you just simply, most likely, you should be able to drop it down, to be honest with you. Like everything should come out from the bottom. See that? We have that. And then we have another, we'll just put it down gently like that, all right, so that we can pull everything out from underneath, kind of like pulling the guts out, all right? Uh, and this looks like we'll pull this one out from the top. Not, we're just going to peel this off, all right? See? Just peel that, and then you can pull out this one, hopefully. Wow, they really make this hard to pull out. So, let's see what we have here. We don't want to force it. Remember that. Tools and accessories. And then now this. Ah, there we are. See that? I'm just going to get rid of this. Keep these because you never know. Like I said, that's probably how you have to return it. You can see we're going to peel off this. Looks like there's some protective... Uh, she, you know, like, so it doesn't get scratched. So most likely you just have to peel this off. It's a little tricky because it's a bit of an adhesive that may or may not want to come off because it probably wants to stay on there because it's been on there for a while. That's one. And then you've got one underneath. You've got some on the inside. So it's going to be a little bit tricky. Take this off and we'll take that one off. Okay. Let me just, we'll take this one off next. So, you know, you have to have a little bit of time to take off the shielding. that one it was a little bit tricky this one should come off a little bit easier but you want to make mm. sure that it's lifted up first if that makes any sense because it's really in there so we'll just peel off really nice job they did in protecting the uh, shielding the, the door cover uh, especially in transportation you know that's the last thing you want that down. Oh, no, it's not gonna work. Hold on. In case you're wondering. Let's just put one there like that. Got one here in the front and then one on the other side. So that one, this one will come off. So we'll just peel it off. Oh, it looks like there's an opening right there that we can take off. Nice, and we're almost there. We've got one more for the unboxing. And 
there we go, almost. I'm not sure I think. Oh. Did we get it all? Yeah. Whoop. Yes, we got it all. See that? Really nice. Just gonna peel this one off. This one should come off easier. You gotta watch out for the edges. Because if we don't pull it off from the edge correctly, as you can see, you'll get remnants stuck in there. But that we can definitely get with the tweezers. So you want to get in there really uh, easily. See that? Look. See? And voila. We were able to get it out. Now we've got our laser protector, laser vision basically, because it's supposed to protect your eyes. All right, so most likely power adapter will leave for last, right? Most likely we want to connect some accessories. It looks like we've got a little bag of goodies in here called tools, tools plus accessories. Okay, which means there's more than one thing inside. We got the USB to USB-C cable which is great if you have a computer. Uh, we have, oh nice, interesting. I'm not sure what this is, but we'll open it up and have a look. Oh, well, we know what that is. That's a paintbrush, probably for dusting off your stuff after it's been engraved. Like let's say we'll probably engrave this. And we'll probably have, we could probably do a total of four, uh, because remember it's not a carving tool, it's an engraving. So we'll be able to engrave some stuff. And who knows, maybe we'll even be able to put this right on top of our computer, right? Just place it over the computer and um, engrave something. And then we have these things right here. These little, uh, this says, this card is a laser focus paper. Before carving, place, oh, carving, hmm, interesting. Or engrave, I thought it was an engraving tool. All right, before carving, place the card on the item and then rotate the laser head to focus. Then you have some other sheets right here. It says the same thing, but we'll figure it out as we go along. And I guess this is another one right here. See that? There's some other things. Really nice. So they, 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 they gave you enough basically to get started. It doesn't say what this thing is though. See that? Like a little Sharpie, probably looks like a Sharpie I've gotten from my kids before. And then we have a little Allen key to make some adjustments, right? Nice. Um, and that's it. Wow, nice. This is a quick and easy setup, it looks like. Um, and then we have the power adapter. I'll just open it up. As this is the power adapter. Really nice. Uh, I'm not sure if it's long enough or where I want to put it, but you could always get an extension cord. Uh, so like we did in the last video, we'll probably run the cord from here to over there to get the uh, print set up. And here it is. Nice, robust charger. You know, looks like it can do the job. Remember, it is a, uh, uh, what do you call it? 12 volt charger, two amps. So if you have a longer one, you could do that. Um, and I believe, let's have a look underneath. Let's see what's under there. There's like a little thing over here. Looks like it could be a light. This is the power switch. I presume you press play. Perhaps if you have something to engrave. I'll have a look underneath to see the... Looks like it's really self-explanatory. It's like a... It's what I would call a plug-and-play machine um, that your kids and yourself could use. And then when you're ready to level up, you would level up. Um, so let me see if I can get my computer. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, it looks like it would fit on there. Wonder if we would engrave it, right? But anyway, that pretty much sums up the unboxing for this video. And why don't we uh, move along to the next half, which will you'll see a link in the description to uh, getting this set up on your Macintosh computer. Kind of neat, huh? 
really simple, not too complex. It looks like it, even my kids could do it. Uh, maybe not the setup. That's why in the next uh, video after this, you will we'll show you how to set it up for your Mac. Uh, it will be a seamless experience. We'll be installing the driver and the software. And um, hopefully we'll be able to engrave the pieces that they sent us and maybe even engrave the laptop computer. Will it go to the grave or will it engrave? Time will tell, but I, I like it. It's a really nice machine. I was afraid it was gonna take up a lot of space. Where am I gonna put it? But it doesn't take up any space. You can put it anywhere in your kids room, over there in the corner. And most of all, and best of all, is that you'll will be able to print wirelessly. So come join me for the next video. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.